Hey, I'm Laura. I'm 26 years old and from the UK, but living in the Gold Coast of Australia. This August, myself and my boyfriend Aidan decided to pack up and begin traveling as digital nomads for the next six months. Currently, we're in Europe, and I'd love you to join us on our journey as we navigate work and travel for the first time ever. Beautiful day. Rise and shine, people. Wait. Morning jigs. <laughs> sorry, but I'm busy. So you end up doing it yourself. Ooh, hold on. That radiator is lovely and toasty. Hello everybody and welcome back to another vlog and also another series that I'm gonna be starting. So I'm gonna try and challenge myself and do some daily vlogs for the next week, which never done before, I'm very new to vlogging anyway. So it'll be a good challenge to try and edit and get stuff up quickly and consistently as well. So I am currently in Iceland, which has been a bucket list place for a very, very long time. We arrived yesterday evening at around 6 p.m. Um, was very dark. We are only just seeing the sunlight now for the first time and it is approaching 11 a.m. the next day. Um, very smooth journey here. We flew from London to Reykjavik, I wanna say. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Um, and we are here for the next two nights before we start driving south as well. Yeah, last night just did some calls and then we decided to go and look for some northern lights. So the forecast was pretty moderate last night, like nothing too crazy, but better than the previous couple of nights before we arrived. So we drove out to a place called Grotta Lighthouse, which is about a 10 minute drive out of the city and it's a lot more dark than in the city, which is what you want, right? And um, I'll just insert the clips here of what we managed to find last night. It's 1am and we are going to see if we can see the Northern Lights. I had a little Google and it said that tonight was quite a high chance of seeing them. So we've been up since quite early. We've been traveling all day. We've been working until now, but we're going to get in the car and we're going to go see if we can see the Northern Lights. So let's hope we do. Think you're going to see them? It's all about believing. If you believe. You see, believe, achieve. Exactly. We're on our mission. It is 11 minutes past two in the morning and I'm sat in the car. I've been here for maybe 15 minutes so far and I've been looking at Facebook and lots of people will say that they can see them, so I'm hoping we might, but I don't know. I think you can see them on the camera. It's my face, huh? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> no, it's like a tiny bit green. Northern Lights completed it, mate. <laughs> woo wee 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 wee. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think? <laughs> but we forgot the tripod, so we'll have to come back again another night and get some even better pictures and stuff. Very exciting. Just 
literally spotted it out the window. This morning we woke up at around 8 o'clock after just a short 4 hour sleep after our northern light hunting experience but obviously very much worth it and um, I had a couple of calls this morning and now we're just going to go out and explore. So we're all rugged up, we have got layers on layers on layers and we're going to go and get some coffee and go and explore or the city of Wrecker. <laughs> Think of the Northern Lights, Aiden. Wow. That's what I thought. Wow. These primes. <laughs> you were ready to go to sleep with your heated seat on, weren't you? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. 3 a.m. Worth staying up for, though, right? Here you ask, well, too many is not enough. So <laughs> we have thermals and thermals on the bottom and trousers and a polo neck jumper and another jumper over the top with thermal socks and boots and likely the golden ingredient Yeah, obviously a jacket Maybe I'll go hat instead of earmuffs because for us there's too many colours going on got the black and we've got Let's go. And then you probably need gloves and also maybe some secondary gloves. Now we're ready to go and sit on our heated seats. <laughs> so we literally just walked out our apartment. And we saw this. How the hell is that even real life? Without even going anywhere. Great, right? <laughs> So we just went to that cafe, it was really nice and warming, I had a mocha that was delicious and now we're back out in the cold and this is our view. of Iceland, the United States of America to the people of Iceland to the 1000th anniversary to the whole thing, AD 1930. You are historian Aiden. That's what they call me, I'm a professor. I know that, I think it was yesterday I was saying it wasn't that cold, but today it's so windy and I think it said it was like minus six degrees, um, but the feels like is like I think like minus nine, minus ten, so it's very cold, the hands, we've just got thin gloves on so that we can use the camera and yeah, I'm excited to go inside here and we'll see what it's like. So 
I believe that's how it is. Good. Yeah. Or something on the side. lines. Um, really stunning. Like the sunlight coming from the post track. It was just incredible. So I'm sure you'll see it if you do come to it. It's difficult to miss, but definitely a very beautiful place. just decided to turn down one of these cute little streets and the town is just so adorable isn't it? It looks like a Christmas card. <laughs> like look at these houses. Like come on imagine actually living in that house. I know it's so cool. One of my favourite parts about travelling is literally just like walking around the streets and not sure where you're going but you get to feel like you've really seen the city. So we've started walking towards the water and Aidan's decided he's going to go for an arctic swim. Yep, I'm just going to go to the beach and then <laughs> pitch our towels and go sunbaking. Sunbaking! We brought our factor 50 Probably more red from like wind whip at the minute. <laughs> we just stopped to get some fries and we asked for large fries and. <laughs> One thing to note with Iceland is it's so cold that you have to make stop offs every half an hour or else your fingers will actually freeze off. So we ducked into this fast food bar called Taktu Taktu, I think. Taktu <laughs> Taktu. Um, on the, it's on like, is that the ocean or is it? Yeah, the ocean front. So getting warm, having lots of chips, and then we'll head over. Have a, take some pictures, have a little look around there, and then we'll head back to the car because we caught some sandwiches, but we cannot eat them with our hands out in this cold. There it goes sliding. <laughs> oh, shampoo! <laughs> about the cold when you have that, can you? Wow! Incredible! Now, <laughs> that's the wind, but Center. We've just been catching up with some work, some calls, and I went to the shops to get some supplies for dinners. One thing I did forget was oil, so we had to get creative, and we had this like baking tray, so I was like, okay, I can bake the chicken. Now I'm using the chicken juices to fry the capsicums. Um, so we're gonna be having a really simple chicken and like pesto pasta we also wanted to take some for our lunch tomorrow because we're going on a little road trip but we realized we had no um what is it called containers so i went to the shop center <laughs> rather than like buy a plastic Tupperware box that we're not going to use that's really expensive in Iceland. I just bought us croissants for the morning in these and we can just like keep the pasta in there, cling wrapped and it will be good to go. Voila.
You have to say that or else you'll have an unhappy girlfriend. Hey.